Hi guys, welcome back to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day. I have been gone a very long time. Thank you for being patient with me. It's been a rough past month or two and you guys have been so patient and most of most of you probably didn't even notice that I was missing, but a few of you did. And I really appreciate all of the messages, all of the comments, everything saying that like you were wondering where I am and are you okay and all that stuff like that really means a lot to me that you were thinking of me, so thank you. Um, okay, so welcome back. I'm like nervous, I'm really nervous because I really want to broaden, is that the right word? I don't know. I wanna broaden my channel a little bit, kind of do a little bit more than I've always done. I'm still gonna do mental health stuff. I'm still gonna do eating disorder stuff and I'm gonna still do my eating disorder recovery updates with you guys. But then I also really wanna add in some other things like fun videos and reaction videos, especially if you have any videos or anything you want me to react to, send them to me, that would be great. What I will say though, is that I am not going to set a specific schedule for myself. We've all seen in the past, well, the, if you've been watching me, we've all seen in the past that like, Every time I try and do a schedule in the last four years, at the beginning, a schedule worked really well, but like the past four-ish years, every time I've tried to do that, I just fail because I have BPD, I have bipolar, I have lots of other mental illness and a lot of physical illness. And so I never know where I'm gonna be. I never know if I'm gonna be on a high or a low. I don't know if I'm gonna be sick or well. I don't, I just don't know. And so I always like set up myself for failure and, um, I'm finally in a really good place. I didn't want to come back until I was in a good enough place to come back. Um, and that's where I've been the last month and a half. And so I just wanted to kind of share with you what's been going on. So this year I started out and I'm like, bro, I'm, this is going to be my year. 2023 is going to be my year. 2022 can suck it. 2021 can suck it. 2020 where it all started can suck it. Cause I'm ready to have a good year. And then January 2nd, I got COVID. <laughs> For those that know this about me, I have a lot of health issues. And this is my first time having COVID. Back when COVID started, my doctor specifically said to me, if you get this, it's not going to be good. And I'm like, it's fine. It's not a big deal. And then I never got it. And for years, I never got it. And I also never even got vaccinated, which I'm not against. I just was too depressed to go get it done. You know what I mean? Um, and like, I didn't get it at all. Even when my family had it, when Danny had it, I didn't catch it, which is crazy because I have the worst immune system. So I really thought that I was um, immune to it. You know how they're like saying, oh, some people have this like gene that makes them immune to COVID. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I totally have that. And then boom, January 2nd, I got COVID and it was awful. And um, I felt like I was going to die. I almost did die. I'm not being dramatic. They told me this in the hospital, that if I hadn't come in when I did, I, I could have died from my fever alone. So I, I had a really high fever. It kind of all hit me really hard, like within, I don't know, like I was having little symptoms the day before, but nothing like too big. Like it just kind of felt like a, maybe a tiny bug or something. But then that day, it just, the, as soon as the fever hit is when the bad stuff hit. I had a really high fever of like 103.5 or something like that. And so I was like, we should go to the hospital because if, you, if you're an adult and your fever is above 104, that can be really dangerous. That's literally like you're starting to die. Like my stepdad was explaining this to me the other day. Like if you get past that point as an adult, it means that your body is starting to attack you and kill you. So it's very important that adults don't get high fevers like that. And I was at 103.5 and I usually run pretty low compared to other people. And so for me, that was like a very high fever. So we went in within, I don't know, 20 minutes, it had gone up to 104.4 and then eventually it got up to 105.7. It was so scary. And it was the most excruciating thing I've ever been through. And I know I've said that about other things before, but that was true about those things until now. It was awful. Some people, some people don't, it didn't affect them too much. Some people got COVID and it was just was like, yeah, it's a, yeah, I feel a little sniffle and I'm just really tired and da da da. And then there's people like me or like my friend Paul got it really bad too. Um, a couple of family members got it really, really bad. Um, and I got it really bad, really bad. And so I was in the hospital for a while until they were able to get my fever down finally. Then I went home and it lasted for about three weeks, 
which was crazy. Um, and then it just went away. And so right now I'm having aftershock symptoms. Apparently that's a thing with COVID that you can, and Danny's having the same thing. Oh, Danny got it too, by the way, but he was over it in like three days. <laughs> he was like two or three days. He was fine. He was all better, but that's because he's been vaxxed. He's been boosted and he's got a really good Im immune system and I don't. So mine lasted a lot longer than his, but we both are still to this day having like aftershock syndrome or symptoms, like, you know, really tired all the time and still coughing a lot of stuff up and pain in my lungs and stuff like that. But we're definitely so much better than we were. I'm definitely so much better than I am. And I'm so grateful to be feeling better. But yeah, so I just, I had to take that time <laughs> and just survive. Um, and I saw my doctor last week and I was telling her about this and she's like, this is what I tried to tell you in the beginning that if you ever got it, because apparently, I don't know if you guys know this, um, apparently if you've got like other already existing health conditions, um, when you get COVID, it can amp those conditions. So like my fibromyalgia was 10 times more painful. My endometriosis was 10 times worse. My IBS was 10 times worse. Like everything was excruciate like the worst everywhere head to toe body muscles bones joints digestive tract every single thing was just is it tract or track digestive track digestive tract why did i say tract isn't it track like you're tracking the poo through the to the hole is it tract or track Someone tell me in the comments, thanks. Anyway, so once I got over COVID, pretty much I was feeling better and I was thinking, okay, I do wanna come back to YouTube. Um, but then I kind of uh, wasn't ready um, because I needed to deal with a very big problem. But first I want to say that I am really, really, really gonna focus on growing my channel this year. Anything you can do to help would be so appreciated. Even if you just left like a heart emoji in the comments, um, that helps the algorithm. If you like my videos, obviously if you watch it and if you comment on it, all those three things together really help the algorithm so that more people can see my videos. I would appreciate that so much. Share them with your friends, share it with your family. If you think that any of my videos they would like or anything, I don't know. Um, just cause I really want to focus on that. I want to feel that, um, that thing that I've not felt for a long time, which is like the pride and the joy of like realizing that I'm reaching more and more people. Um, I really wanna keep doing that. And I've got some really big videos coming soon. <laughs> very soon, there's a very big one coming. Um, and I'm really nervous about it, but I'm hoping that it will help somebody out there and I'm hoping that it will help lots of people. We'll see, but yeah, anything you can do to help me grow my channel, I would love to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, we'll see if it happens, if not, cool. But I really, 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 really wanna focus on that. So anything you guys can do to help me would be fabulous. I would like to talk about, very quickly, and for the last time, okay? Um, I would like to talk about um, the online things that people are putting online about me that are not true or that are exaggerated or that are, um, kind of mean and hurtful and uh, have made me be a ball of depression for months now. Um, I've talked about it many times recently and this is gonna be the last time I want to talk about it because I have been taking time, after I got over COVID, I was like, let's take a few weeks. Let's, let, before you go back to YouTube, let's take a few weeks and make sure that you're okay knowing that there are going to be people out there that are just gonna attack you on the internet and they're gonna take your life and your story and they're gonna twist it into their own narrative and that's fine. And if they need to have their little groups to do that, great, let them have it. I don't want you guys going and standing up for me. I know that in the past, some of you have, I've never commented on there, not even once, but I know a lot of you guys have trying to stand up for me and I do appreciate that. However, I think that that's not gonna help anything. And also I'm very protective of you guys and I don't want you guys to get attacked. And that's what happens when people do try and go and stand up for me. So please, um, let's all just kind of move on from it. It's such a negative, toxic place. And I've been working really, 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 really hard at this for the past few weeks. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't come back to YouTube until I had gotten that off of my shoulder because it was killing me for so long. And it made me realize what I needed to deal with, with myself. 
which I'm working on and I'm doing so much better now and I'm just ready to let it go. My mom always taught me growing up that it takes 21 days to make or break a habit. And she's right, every time I've needed to make or break a habit, if I take three weeks to do it, I'm telling you, maybe it's just psychological, but it does stick, it does. And it has been three weeks since I've read comments online, different places that people have left mean comments and misjudged me and are spreading misinformation about me. Um, it's been three weeks since I've done that and I can tell you I have no desire to do it anymore. So I'm very proud of myself. I haven't looked for three weeks and I don't plan to. I feel so much better. I feel so much lighter. I feel so much like more ready to get back into the swing of things and get things going and, and get it going again because that's what I need and that's what maybe others need. I don't know. But I wasted too many tears and too many, too much pain on those places and I'm just grateful for the people, my therapist, my family, my friends who helped me get through that and the ones that, especially in the beginning, it was very hard for me to not go and read because um, I was addicted to it. I was addicted to finding these comments about me um, and so it took a lot of support, I guess, and reminders from people that I love of why I need to not read those things. So thank you, you all know who you are. Anyway, so moving forward, I'm gonna try and keep this a place of you know positivity and, and love and I just wish them all the best and I hope that their lives can feel better and more, ful more fulfilling and I hope that they can find a different hobby but if not, then that's their choice and that's okay, I've let it go. Anyway, I'm really excited to come back and to make videos for you guys. Please leave me some questions below because I'm going to film a Q&A. I already asked for questions on Instagram, but I didn't get very many on there. So please leave some questions below. You can ask me anything. It can be hard stuff. It can be funny stuff and fun stuff and or would you rather or like lighthearted, whatever you want to send, just send it and I'll try and make it a mix of everything of a Q&A, like a comeback Q&A. So you can ask me whatever you want. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day and I love you all. And if you don't have a val Valentine, maybe I can be your Valentine, even though I'm also Danny's, but like he can share me with you and you can be my Valentine and I'll share you guys with him. I'll share, we'll, we'll all share to get to be Valentine, yes. Okay, I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. <clears throat>